Episode 1, The Effects of the Iranian Revolution on Teenagers Monosalanka Over the years of January 1978 to February 1979, the Iranian Revolution had repressive effects on the lives of many families, especially children in society. These consequences were not only seen during the revolution, but were experienced prior to the Iranian Revolution as Shah Ayatollah Khomeini came to power and closed down schools, banned bilingualism, and enforced the burqa on women and the secular religion of Islamism. These repercussions had an adverse effect on the lives of the perpetrated afterwards as well. As a student residing in America, my credibility proves to be far from plausible. However, my state as a teenager gives me the ability to investigate the thought process development of my own kind. Also, my position as a New York Times intern allows me to convey the messages of the Iranian teens who could not 10 years prior. In this podcast, I will be determining to what extent the Iranian revolution manipulated the minds of teenagers and how that created various perceptions as children grew over the years, physically and mentally. However, as I evaluate the influences of teenagers such as close related family of the respective adolescents, I will be able to clearly supplement the conclusions I come to in relation to the time period and Iranian revolution. How did the demonstrations allow you to express your true beliefs and what did those beliefs stem from? It is not anyone's fault that they are born where they are born. Social classes do not influence who you should love and where you should reside. However, my dad always told me, in this country you must stay within your social classes. Although I never believed in the protests because I believed it was part of God's work at the time, my mindset changed as I saw my aunt crying as the love of her life walked away. The revolution was the devil. It stripped us of our freedom and equality. Thus, through the protests, I was able to demonstrate my anger and necessity for change. How did your perception change after the protests became successful? For a moment, it felt as if all the oppression in the world had been released. Little did we know that consequences were just as worse. I clearly remember. The jets hugged the ground before suddenly zooming up into the sky right before the mountains on the horizon. How were your family members affected by the revolution and what consequence did that have on you? My very own family members and friends have been put in jail and tortured for expressing their beliefs in demonstrations. This not only affected children, but their wives too. This causes their children to have separation anxiety and question the validity of their parents' actions and ultimately distrust. My own daughter began to question my abilities. Like I stated before, my aunt lost the love of her life due to a pointless reason. It developed my anger for the Iranian revolution, and at that age, I did not know better. But it definitely changed the way I viewed God's position in this. How strongly do you believe in God, and how has that changed with the revolution? Ever since I was young, I wanted to be a prophet despite societal conflicts and perceptions. Although through time, I began to lose faith in the one person I spoke to every night and the one belief that was kept constant throughout my life. I kept asking, God, where are you? I felt lost as I began to believe for a revolution to succeed, the entire population must support it. God did not choose the king. Despite my daughter's faith in God, I never believed God had any value in the situation of the revolution, because if he was to be present, these events would have never occurred. How has prior history affected this revolution and describe conditions during the revolution? The real Islamic invasion has come from our own government. The Arabs never liked the Persians. Everyone knows that. They attacked us 1,400 years ago. They forced their religion on us. In its entirety, how would you explain this tragic event in aspects of how it altered your life, Marjane? The Iranian revolution has become a part of my life. It not only sculpted my childhood, but influenced my life as I grew older. My main values and beliefs were challenged from the day I began school, 
and the torture I had to see through demonstrations and family members was unimaginable until it became imaginable. I had to learn how to sustain my own thoughts through the power of God, and as I grew up, not a single aspect of my life remained constant. Violence and corrupt politics were the only stable aspects I could rely on. There is no truer experience than the experience itself. Simply indescribable. Thank you, Marjane and Marjane's father, for sharing your personal stories for this podcast.